Let's start with a crucial race in the south of France, the only place where Marine Le Pen, the far-right national rally party, has any chance of winning. Its candidate came out at top in the Provence, Alpes, Côte d'Azur or Baca region last Sunday. But exit polls now have him trailing behind his rival, the centre-right candidate. And uh, France 24's reporter Emma James is in Marseille for us. Emma, what's the latest where you are? Yes, we're still waiting for official word and obviously the full results won't be out until much later tonight. But we do now have three different exit polls all handing the win to Renaud Mousselier, who is, of course, the current uh, president of the region of uh, Provence Alpes Côte d'Azur, uh, 62 years old. Um, he was up against the national rally who uh, did top him in the first round. Uh, but it looks as though he has managed to uh, pull ahead in the second round, perhaps courtesy of the Republican front, uh, where other voters who wouldn't necessarily vote for the Republicans have decided uh, that they are going to uh, vote for him. As you can hear, quite a bit of noise going on. Uh, we've had some, a lot of cheering coming from the Musilier headquarters. Um, not quite sure whether that is just exuberance or optimism or whether they are hearing uh, more information than we are so far. Um, certainly earlier on today, they weren't going to uh, be definitive about whether or not they believed they had succeeded. Uh, they said we are optimistic, but nothing is certain. But tonight, with three exit polls, all putting Renaud Mousselier ahead of Thierry Mariani of the National Rally, of course, formerly the National Front, the far right party here here in France. Um, and of course, that had Mariani pulled this off would have been huge, an enormous story, not just for France, but for the world, because uh, Marine Le Pen's far right party has never held a region, has never had the reins of power in quite that way. And this would have added legitimacy to her presidential hopes uh, when we have that election next year. But so far, it does look as though uh, Monsieur Musilier has won. The closest race, uh, according to the exit polls, has him leading by 53% to 47%. Uh, another one has him leading by 57.7%. So it's, it's a fairly healthy gap, which is unlikely, I think, to be overturned. Um, sometimes these exit polls are wrong. Last week they were with the first round. Uh, they had a very, very close uh, race, which then turned out to be 4.5% uh, in favour of the national rally. So. Of course, it is with caution that we say this, but certainly here in Marseille, at the headquarters of Renaud Mousselier, uh, they are very optimistic and it seems to be becoming ever more celebratory. All right, Emma, just one last question very quickly. Mariani and Mousselier, tell us a little bit more about those two candidates. That was a question to me, I'm afraid I didn't hear it. Sorry, Emma, I was saying, could you tell us a little bit more about those two main candidates there, Musilier and Mariani? Yes, absolutely. It is an interesting story, this one, because uh, Renaud Musilier and Thierry um, Mariani have been described in the French press as the Siamese twins of French politics, because essentially they have come through the same route. They're both 62 years old, uh, they both were centre-right politicians for many years. Uh, Mariani was actually a minister under President Nicolas Sarkozy. Uh, but in 2019, he decided that he was going to switch it up and he uh, ran as an MEP for the National Rally. Um, he says it is not him who has changed. He hasn't abandoned his principles. He says it is the National Rally that's changed, not just its name from the National Front. Um, what he says is that the party now has ditched its previous anti-Semitic uh, overtones and that Marine Le Pen is a very different party leader to her father, uh, Jean-Marie Le Pen. Of course, back when Jean-Marie Le Pen was in charge, he was always beaten extremely soundly in those elections because of the Republican front. Um, what is interesting to note is that the national rally is getting ever closer, but it does look as though in the PACA region, Provence, Alpes, Côte d'Azur and the southeast of France, uh, the national rally has not pulled it off this time. Now, as for Musilier, he is very much a uh, Republican uh, through and through, centre-right, a traditional um, politician. And he has deep roots here. He was born in Marseille and he clearly has a lot of support, as you can hear. Lots of people gathering. Interestingly, 
uh, the local French TV reporters say that there are far more journalists actually at the National Rally headquarters, perhaps expecting uh, an upset or perhaps thinking it was the more interesting story. But certainly the numbers are gathering here, the numbers are mounting. We are waiting for the arrival of Renaud Mousselier. All right, Emma James reporting for us there in Marseille. Do stay with us throughout the night.